fruit snack for you. First thing before we get all of this started, I'm gonna need you to grab a water bottle. Grab your water bottle, your water bottle is your buddy. Keep it with you all day long. I want you to sip on it throughout this whole video, okay? Okay, have a sip right now with me. Cheers, ah, wonderful. Do you sometimes have trouble staying full? You might not be having enough protein in your diet. Do you sometimes go the whole day without eating fruit and then you're like, oh no, I need to have some fruit? Well, I have a simple hassle-free solution for you. <laughs> and it's to have a high protein fruit snack. I love this high protein fruit snack because there's no cooking or waiting required. You can mix all of the stuff together and then eat it right away. I'm Jack Attack, a health and fitness enthusiast, a former obese person, and I'm looking for easier ways to become healthier and fitter, and I wanna share these tips with you along the way. Now, Fruit is not high in protein on its own, so this is why I have all of these other things to go with the fruit to make it a high protein fruit snack. And this is actually, I'm going to make it really big today. I'm gonna to make this a meal, but you can always scale it down to whatever size you want, if you want a little snack or a big snack. I'm gonna make a big snack today. You do whatever snack size you want. Okay, first we are going to start with three quarter cups of vanilla Greek yogurt. Three quarter cups is 17 grams of protein as long as you get the Oikos brand. 17 grams of protein already just in this little dish. Let's add some stuff to it, shall we? I'm gonna add apple pie spice all over this because we want this to be such a good snack. Apple pie spice all over that. What do we have here? What are all of these? Well, I would love to show you. Hold on just a minute. We have all of our ingredients out that we are going to be adding to our high protein fruit snack. And we got our cutting board out so that we can get the apple ready. And we're gonna put the apple in last. Hemp parts per 10 grams. We have 60 calories and 3.3 grams of protein. Whoop. Next we have chia seeds. And you have 15 grams for 80 calories and 2.7 grams of protein. Next, we have flax seeds, a very tiny amount, uh, because this 8 grams has 46 calories and 1.3 grams of protein. Next, we have PB2 powder. This is only 13 grams, 60 calories, and 6 grams of protein. 15 grams of pumpkin seeds, 91 calories, and 4.9 grams of protein. 15 grams of walnuts, 96 calories and 2.1 grams of protein. 15 grams of almonds. I grabbed the sliced ones so there, there's more chunks. 86 calories, 3.2 grams of protein for these 15 grams. Hmm. 15 grams of chocolate chips. So this is 80 calories and one gram of protein. I did try looking for higher protein chocolate chips at the grocery store today. They're all roughly the same. And last but not least, for the toppings, because we still need to do the apple, I have 26 grams of honey. This will be 79 calories and 0 0.1 gram of protein. There is some protein in honey. It's just very, very, very little, very little. So let's add this in. And this spoon I'm using to scoop it in, or spatula, I'm gonna use to mix it as well because it's all covered in honey and I want all of the honey. Ooh, are you getting that? When it's done, it should look something like a dish. So I added one of everything, which is definitely overkill. You don't have to add one of everything, but pick the things that you like and add it in, and you are guaranteed to have a high-protein fruit snack. This fruit snack, which is not technically a fruit snack yet because there is no fruit in it, but this portion here without the apple so far is 794 calories and 40.8 grams of protein. Now I normally try to aim for about 30 grams of protein for my breakfast. So I would have I would have picked different measurements or picked different 
things to omit. This is completely customizable. Make it exactly how you want it. You don't have to make the protein this high or the calories this high. You could have taken out a couple of things and it easily would have been less. Let's cut up an apple and add it in. Alright, we have our apple all cut up, so now let's add it to the top. This apple is 134 grams, so it is 69.7 calories, no protein, 19.2 carbs, and 0.9 grams of fat. But we like it because one, it's a fruit filled with nutrients, and two, there is 4.3 grams of fiber in here as well. And we love fiber. So I am going to tell you the whole total of this. I'm going to divide it in half for me and Jeffrey to share. <laughs> this is 864 calories and 40 grams of protein. So if we divide this in half, that's 20 grams of protein and 432 calories. One for me, and one for my Jeffrey. Mmm! A great way for you to get in more protein is to make a list of foods that you like to eat and their protein contents. I'll show you what I did. Here we have a list of most of the protein items I used today. This is a list of the entire recipe. So we have the item, the serving size, or just a small measurement and we have how many grams that is just to weigh it how many calories that is in total and how many grams of protein that is and I've even started a scoring system I take the calories and divide it by the protein and that gives me a score so bacon's score is 35 meaning for every gram of protein there's 35 calories so the lower the number the better the score so we have a lot of things here, like hemp hearts has a score of 18, eggs is 13, chia seeds is 28, and so on and so forth. So using a list like this, I can pick all of the items that I would like and add it to my meal, knowing I'm going to have a high protein meal. And by high protein, I mean about 0.7 to 1 gram of protein per pound you weigh. As someone who is roughly 140 pounds, that's 98 grams of protein on the low end and the max end of 140 grams of protein. Make a protein list and refer to it every time you make a meal or a snack. In my opinion, the best way to make your fruit snack be successful is to enter everything into your tracker first. All the measurements for all of the foods that you're going to be mixing and matching together, put them all in your tracker first. That way you can adjust and customize and add or take away anything you need to before you actually put it all together because I'm telling you, Trying to get one item back out of this that you, oh, never mind, is impossible. So now that you know all about my new scoring system, it definitely helps while shopping. So find an item, take the amount of calories it is per serving. So this is 200 calories a serving. We're going to put that into our calculator as 200, and we're going to divide it by how many grams of protein is in here. This is 12 grams of protein, 200 divided by 12 is 16.6. This has a score of 16.6. So now we know where this belongs in the protein spectrum. This is 16.6 calories per gram of protein. So we know, we know, we know that this is a better source of protein than let's say, flax seeds because flax seeds are at 28 calories per gram or let's say almonds almonds are 27 calories per gram remember this is 16.6 let's see we also have vanilla greek yogurt is 7.6 calorie per gram holy holy guacamole 
make sure you're having Greek yogurt and not regular yogurt. Greek yogurt is high in protein, people. Make sure to do some comparing while you're grocery shopping. Anything you normally buy, you, you like to have cereal, go down the cereal aisle, start comparing. You don't need to buy the cereal that has the most protein, but compare all your cereals. And you don't have to not buy a cereal that you love. If you love it, stick to it. Be careful of your portion size, everything in moderation. But I'm just saying, it's great to look at the nutrition facts, read the ingredients list, get to know what you're putting into your body. Going through some foods to figure out which ones are the highest in protein, the number that is the lowest so far is chicken breast. You probably already guessed that. Chicken breast is 5.3 calories per gram of protein. That's insane. That's amazing. That's why you see a lot of bodybuilders and meal prepping people having chicken breast with broccoli and rice or chicken breast and this, chicken breast and that. It's always chicken breast. So learn how to season your food well so that you can have chicken breast all the time. Maybe not every single day all the time. But so you can have chicken breast a lot without getting bored of it. And there you have it. Those are all my protein tips that I have so far. But I promise you, as soon as I come up with more tips, I'll let you know right away. So go make yourself a high protein fruit snack, or you can even omit the fruit and just make a high protein snack. <laughs> Add any fruit you like. You can have bananas, you can have pears, you can have, you know, if you want to find the highest protein fruit out there, if you can find dried goji berries, I was looking today and I couldn't, they are way higher in protein. I think they're about three grams of protein per serving, which is like, if you found this video inspiring or if you decided you wanted to make a high protein fruit snack, please give this channel a like and a subscribe. It definitely helps me out. I'm just a baby channel right now and I'm really excited to show everybody what's in my head. Oh, I'm so happy I got to share all this stuff with you. I love hanging out with you and talking to you and I can't wait to do this all over again next week. So join me again next week and we'll have some fun together, okay? <laughs> Bye, love ya. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come in for a forehead kiss. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made you a high protein fruit snack. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, you gotta eat it. Mmm. <laughs>